All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powdered Toast Man and Logan TV. And let's get started, guys. If, if you're new to the Knives Fast channel, check it out. Uh, we have a lot of fun around here. Hit that, uh, hit that subscription. Hit that notification bell. Stick around. Watch some videos. Show up for a live on Monday nights at 745. We have a lot of fun. It's the best way to meet the community and to really see how much fun it can be around here and all the great choices of knives that are out there. And, guys, it's a great place to meet Brian from Blue Creek Knives. He's in the chat a lot. Uh, Brian is my buddy. Bought this knife from him, and this is going to be my one of my affiliation knives from him. Uh, basically, if you use my link, I get a little bit back, and I buy knives to review and then give away, and I will be giving this away on a future live stream. Uh, this is the Petrified Fish. Oh, boy. Uh, P06, PFP06, uh, K-A-M-S, and this is the... Petrified Fish um, Simum, S-I-M-U-M. Uh, really cool micarta. Now, let's let's talk about those options. <coughs> wow. Uh, while I choke, apparently. <coughs> wow. All right, so there are uh, two versions of this knife available on Blue Creek Knives. And don't forget, if you use code KNIVESFAST at checkout, you'll get 10% off. Uh, and there's a black micarta for $39.99. So $40, and then there is this khaki micarta, and that is what you're seeing here is khaki micarta. Now, while I'm over here at the computer, let's just go ahead and talk specs on this guy. Uh, it is 8.11 inches overall. We need to open it if we're going to talk about that. It is 8.11 inches overall. Uh, the blade length is 3.5. The cutting edge is 3.27. Blade thickness is 0.14 or 3.5 millimeters, so a little bit thicker. Um, K110 is a steel, which is a form of D2. Um, HRC 59 to 61, it's flat and satin. Now, the handle length is 4.61, um, and the weight is 4.27 ounces. Uh, these are made in China with caged ball bearings, uh, and they are made by Petrified Fish. Uh, Petrified Fish is sort of owning this 30 to $35 uh, range, 30 to $40 range right now. You can see. Uh, well, no, they didn't They didn't put K110 on there. They usually put their steel on the flipper tab. Uh, you do have this nice brass-looking um, ring around the pivot collars on both sides. Uh, we'll talk more about this clip in a minute, but it is a deep carry uh, all the way to the tip. Uh, looks like right side only to me because there's two screws there and only one here. So it's right side only. You do have a lanyard hole. Um, and a khaki micarta backspacer with some jimping. Everything is contoured and, um, you know, chamfered off really, really well. You do have the screws are, um, you know, countersunk. Now, well, let's go ahead and talk about this, guys. This pocket clip, uh, it turns up and has a point on it. Now, as you know, uh, not a big fan of that. I will tell you, it's hitting at a part of my hand uh, where it's not a huge issue, but it may hit different for you. So please know this is definitely not one of my favorite clips. It's hard to get in and out of the pocket. It's so low on that up ramp, hard to get in the pocket, not hard to get out. You do have screws that stick up, but they're not bad. It, it's not too low. It's This is just too low right there. And then you got that point and it is a very stiff clip. Uh, so it is, again, it's good retention in the pocket, but it's hard to get into the pocket. That khaki micarta is gorgeous. I love the shape. Now, you have black shadow box liners. Uh, it does run on cage bearings. You can see those there. Stop pins back here. It works on both sides, kind of uh, nested in there, if you will. Um, you do have uh, some uh, holes in there for weight reduction. Um, and, you know, 4.27 is not bad for this size of knife. Um, really cool. I love the feel. There is some good grip to that micarta, no problem. Now, uh, ergonomically, uh, you do get four fingers. There's nowhere to really choke up. That is a sharpening tool. By the way, let's talk about the blade real quick. Satin finish, K110. Uh, you do have a um, beautiful fuller and some nice jimping up here. Like I said, thick blade stock, good and centered. Um, the only problem is you cannot get to that fuller. 
uh, to use it for middle finger flicking or anything else, uh, which is good and bad. Bad because you can't. Good because, you know, the hand, the knife is kind of hidden down in there. I will tell you, I discovered something about this on my live stream yesterday. That tip right there, you can access that tip. Um, it poked me in my finger, uh, and you can definitely reach in there and grab that, as you can see. Um, so that is not great. Um, you know, maybe you won't do that, but I definitely did. Um, very cool though. Uh, flicks out of there really, really nicely. As you can see, good, uh, wow. <laughs> What's the word, Casey? Jimping on that, uh, flipper tab. Good jimping here. You get kind of a pinch grip coming out here. Uh, it still feels pretty good for me. Uh, you kind of got this nice nested feel to it, uh, and it's it, not a problem. But again, this is the money grip on this knife. Uh, ergonomically, this is an issue to me. I like that they made this a swell, uh, but it's too much, and it tends to really feel too big in your hand right there, at least for me, um, because I'm down in there like that, and I'm down in there like that, and now this is sticking up, and it kind of... Um, even though it's contoured, it kind of goes flat right there. See that kind of goes flat. And that just doesn't, if they cut that back a little bit and maybe cut this back down even a little bit further, uh, then a, I'm going to end up with more lock bar access, which we'll talk about. And, uh, B, uh, you might be able to get a hold of that fuller and see the ergonomics are going to be better. Now is, um, is lock bar access bad? No, uh, but it could just be a little bit better. Uh, for me, it's not, it's not bad though. I mean, they did, and they put a nice chamfer there. Really good. You do have about 20 to 25 on the lockup, tiny bit of lock rock there. Uh, not enough that it's going to come loose, uh, but there is a little bit of lock rock. Uh, again, nice drop. Now this is a, uh, like a Persian or an upswept blade. Not everybody's favorite. I get it. Uh, and that's kind of why it's sticking up. By the way, if you hear noise in the background, Trevor's playing a game down here. Uh, we'll forgive him. He's having fun with his friends. Um, so really cool. Uh, you know, you cannot use that as a finger tool. It is just way too small unless you have tiny little hands. There's the petrified fish number. Um, and I think, yeah, K110 is there as well. Uh, let's do our comparisons real quick. So uh, uh, there is uh, the Petrified Fish Simum. Here is the uh, Ontario Rat 1, which is quite a bit bigger, both in the handle and, well, all right, it's a little bit bigger in the handle and a lot bigger in the blade. Um, and this guy's going to be smaller, the Rat 2. Uh, there is your uh, Petrified Fish Simum sandwich with some rats around it, rat bread, I guess you'd say. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so there you go, guys. That is the Petrified Fish Simum. By the way, uh, it does cut uh, pretty fine. Hush up over there, Trevor. Um, it cuts pretty fine. No problems with cutting. Um, it's, you know, it's a good blade. It really is. It's, it's a little, it feels a little thicker because it is. Um, it's not going to sail through material like some of the thin, thinner knives. Uh, but, you know, again, this... This is a totally different blade shape. I'm wiping it off over here, by the way. Um, totally different blade shape. And so, you know, different results. It is a high flat grind and, uh, you know, really a cool knife. So thank you, Brian, for having me as an affiliate to Blue Creek Knives. I really enjoy it. Guys, again, this one will be given away on a live stream coming up very soon. So be looking for it. And uh, yeah, so enjoyed showing it to you. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.